world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my softcore playthrough. Yes, we are back in Frost Home, and I have got a lockpick. Went ahead and made a lockpick. Now I've got one power storage unit and one mass storage unit. And I'm starting to work my way up. I should be able to make a workbench soon. Fire should go out. I'm trying to keep both these fires going for a while to build up some more ash. Because I'm about out of ash with two planters. No, I don't need ash, but if I want to grow stuff faster, I mean ash, you know, having a little ash and a little extra ash is always a good thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're not gonna go there. Um, rogue hunters, the search for regular hunters, and we're going to leave our base and head directly over that hill and down into the valley on that side. That's how we're gonna go today. Um, do I wanna... Mm, no, I've got enough water. We will do the water thing uh, later. All right, get away from that generator noise. Yeah, I mean, I really appreciate the Cole Games turned down the generator noise. He didn't turn it down enough. <laughs> it still sucks. Now, the reason I wanted to go this way is not to challenge myself by hurting myself before getting actually into action today. It was to check for rogue hunter or regular and rogue hunters in the area. I like being up in the mountain, but it does kind of restrict your view. When I come out of my house, I'm always greeted with the same view, a rock face, and I don't have a good view this way. The other way, I can, you know, look down in the valley pretty good, but I have a feeling that I might have hunters in this area eventually. Now my health should start coming back. If I get in this uh, sticky situation, I'll pop a health kit. A single wolf is in a sticky. Ouch. Okay, now it's sticky situation. I don't know if there was one or two of them. I heard the growl, I turned and ran into a level three wolf and he hit me, so. Yep, that's a sticky situation. I didn't think I was gonna get in a sticky situation. There was one. I didn't think I was going to get into a sticky situation, but I did. Now, I actually need to get some wolves because I need the fat. Yeah, there was two. I could have sworn one was a level three. Yep, there's a level three right there. But it's too early to, to get wolves, so I have to take the meat back. I want to keep looking. I want to find a lockbox today. I'm hoping to get lucky and that lockbox has some alloy plates inside. It is possible, and I don't want to say common, but when I'm hoping for like sinew and I seem to get uh, the alloy plates, and right now I'd actually be happy with alloy plates. Ah, there we go. Now I did validate my files again before I started. I had one file that needed to be downloaded, but I'm not noticing a huge change. Maybe the next time I'll actually uninstall and reinstall the game and try that. Though this actually is three crates in the same area. You're gonna make me kill you, aren't you? Come here. You. Give me your fat. Hopefully I get two pieces of fat. That'd be great. Nah, one. Okay. Now I am growing medical plants, so I will have a source, but my biofuel is starting to run out. Either I need to stop how much power I'm using or get solar panels built so I don't need to run the generator as much. I kind of hated to waste that shotgun shell, but... Oh, jeez. The animals are all over the place today. Yes, bear. Yes, wolf. I see you. I hear you. 
I'm not running back for that chicken. It's going toward the stupid wolf. I swear, the chickens are coded to run toward the wolves and the bears. Oh my. The rabbits are just coded to run. Oh, I was going to say, I think he's on the other side of the rock, and I was right. Run, bear, run. I'm not going to let you catch me, though. That swipe was a little close. <laughs> I felt his fur on my back. I wanted to check the top area over here and see if there was a locked Oh, there is. Nope. Regular chest. Regular crate. This is a common area for locked crates, so. I like to check this area. And then we're going to go check the center lake around there. There's like two, three places I've seen locked crates over there. And then near my old season two house, there's a nice spot over there for a locked lock crate. Need me iron. Must. I should put a sign on my back. I stop for iron. Which, unfortunately, I don't do enough of, but I still need to put a sign on my back. Am I going to go two days in a row without seeing rogue hunters? I mean, that's going to suck. I mean, how am I supposed to get gears if I'm not going out? No, I know. Go after the regular hunters. I'm really wanting them to attack the first time on their own. Right now, I can go kill them, yes. But there's no upside. There's no benefit for me killing the regular hunters right now because I'm not gonna get much from them. If I leave them alone and don't kill them until their base is actually built up and they have supplies and it's worth breaking into their place, then I can fight them. And granted, I can kill them right now, but every time I kill them, they're gonna come back with better armor. So if I don't kill them, I'm hoping they'll only come, they'll only have their spawn of armor they have when they first pop in, which in multiplayer, they actually can, you know, the one guy's already got, ah, Rogue Hunters, I'm so happy. The one guy already has a vest, but no helmet. And then the other guy's, you know, basically how I started, naked. Rogue Hunters, and I have my bow and arrow. I think for unarmored Rogue Hunters, bow and arrow is my best weapon these days. Oh, darn, I missed the rock. Let's try this again. I've gotten on this rock before. There we go. No, you're gonna key on me eventually. I mean, this this time, I'm not saying that they couldn't see me. I was probably an obvious target. Wow, that arrow was right over my head. Now, I don't wanna waste the arrows. Oh, they're being smart. They're coming around on the backside. Smart, aren't they? Oh, I missed his head. Come on, come on. Yeah, you use the trees, I use the rock. I think that's fair. He's shooting the tree. Oh, I'm missing their heads. Come on. Oh, that's, wait a minute. They got more health. Yeah, <laughs> knocked his butt back. There we go. That looks like a clean hit. Ouch. He moved. I'm wasting so many arrows. It should have been two arrows. Darn it. Okay. Ooh, medical plant. Nice. A free gift. Top of the morning to you. Here's a medical plant. I know. Horrible. I don't even know. Oh, two gears. Nice. I got gears. Oh, somebody was asking in the forums why you can't take their clothes off when you when you kill them. Because, I mean, they've got clothes on. I mean, those guys had pants. Why couldn't they? Not that I'm in the, in the habit of going into the woods, killing uh, hunters and taking their pants, but the reason you can't if you look at the your avatar when you're when you're looting them they're naked 
yes, the body has clothing on it, but the actual avatar you're looting is naked. I don't know if that means anything, but I noticed that the other day. Why is the, the hunter naked when I'm looting him? That's kind of disturbing. Put some clothes on, man, if you're going to come out here and hunt me. Doing it in the buff is just not an option. I am being stalked by a bear. I got a wolf on one side. I'm gonna grab their ash, bear. Hmm, okay. Now, that's hunter camp number one. I should have, and I think that's a new spawn of a hunter camp because I've already killed the other hunter camp and I'm pretty sure that the one guy had a vest on. So I think that would be hunter camp number two and there's still another hunter camp out there that I could find. Hmm, the loot is flowing good today, Mr. Rabbit. Thank you very much. For giving to the cause, I appreciate it. So close to the water, I'm gonna go ahead, get to the water's edge, drink from my canteen, fill that back up. We're gonna go over to season two's base area and look for that one spawn that I know of over there that had uh, for locked crates. Lock box, drink, fill with water. There we go. Then we'll probably have to swing home. I don't want to waste the liver and the steak. I'll probably have to cook that up. If I find a... Probably go after a level one cougar or a wolf on the way home. I'm still kind of... I don't go after bears unless I have to. Because they take way too much ammo to take them down. And they don't give enough basically what I'm after, which is the fat. Oh, that's the second time now that I came up on hunters and wasn't hearing them chop wood. I wonder if Colt Games took that out because I haven't heard any hunters chopping wood. And the hunters that are down in the valley are close enough that I should be able to hear them hitting a tree. I mean, not all the way from my house, but when I'm out and about and near it, I haven't heard them hitting any wood recently. If that's been taken out, that's going to make things interesting i must say because that was kind of like, like our early warning system you know you're going into the woods like we're doing multiplayer and everybody's like are you cutting wood what do you mean are you chopping wood right now no oh i found hunters because that was always the sound they were making that was always like the dead giveaway that there's somebody else out there Uh, I just looked in the two normal places in this area that I s typically see locked boxes. Other side of this rock. I mean, I'm finding a lot of other loot crates, which is a good thing, but I'm really hoping for an, uh, some plates so that I can make. I think the vest has the best cold rating. The helmet is probably the best thing to make because, uh, you know, I don't want to get shot in the head without having a helmet on. But as for cold protection, I think the vest has a better cold protection uh, inherently built into it than the uh, than the helmet. Helmet's more useful, but the vest is much warmer. You know, I'm still jonesing for that first hunter vest too. The hunter's jacket, I really want one. All right. 
I'm gonna go for that big tree. There can be lock boxes around the big trees. It seems to be a common area. And then I'll head up toward Cougar area up there. And then I'll end up taking out whatever I can find. Me being at a wolf or a level one or two cougar. A level three cougar, I can do it. There's no question about it that I can do it, but it's gonna take more resources. Basically more arrows. I'm up to, I'm down to 14 arrows right now. Being quiet, because I'm listening for a growl for a cougar growl. But sometimes you can have a growl. I was just about to say, you can have one right in this area. And lo and behold, it's level three cougar. <laughs> All right, let's go, cougar. I'll might as well just run you right to my house, just about. Don't want to drop. I want to make sure that I'm staying on. No, I don't want to drop off an edge. Because I think they catch you when you drop off an edge these days. Now, the bad thing about the hunters being over there, they're kind of in part of my running path when I'm doing my, uh, my uh, shoot and move cougar maneuver. Wow, you're really not letting go, are you? Still here, I'm running. Damn, I was only joking when I said I want to run you all the way to my house. Really, I was only joking. Let me get a little bit further away. gonna run. If he hadn't gone behind that tree, I would have had a chance to put a second arrow into him before turning and running, but... And what do you know? We're back home. What? You're not afraid of my house, are you? Kitty, 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 kitty. Where are you going? Don't run away from me. I'll shoot you in the butt. Oh, my Jenny's still going. That's cool. Now I need to be careful. I'm running right toward the fence. So this time I'm going to run up that way. Ouch. He turned when he made his run and his turn. He actually had turned toward me. I didn't, I didn't see it, so... Oh, well, I'm infectionated. But that's okay. I've got antidote in the house. I mean, come on, I'm carrying a liver wire with me, right? But maybe it's time to, to stop messing with the cougar and just put him out of his misery. Or put me out of my misery. Whichever comes first, right? 105. Come here, cougar. Don't fall. Oh, guys, like... Do not fall through the fence. I was afraid he was going to go sliding down the hill and slide right through the fence line. That would suck. No fat! I mean, six sinew. That's awesome. But he didn't have any fat. Oh, that sucked. But that's what I was really hoping for. Oh, well. Not always going to get what you want. If you did, it would be a, game, a video game called Gimme, Gimme, Gimme and not Subsistence. Ah, generator just ran out of juice. Okay. How much power do I have? Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this stuff off. Nope, want that. Whoever... 
this last liver is going to be saved to make another antidote to heal myself up. this back up. Let's get stuff cooking. All right, I'm up to 31 sinew. Yeah, this is this is good. Das is good. Das is good. How I need what 100 mass to make the recycler. I need a thousand. All right, I'm going to turn this off. Have to run the generator for a little bit more to get the power up. That should be more than enough. Because I do want to get that master cycler done so I can get my mass above 100. That's not going to stay there for a minute. Now, normally I probably wouldn't have eaten right there, but there was still no harm, no foul, because I have so much, I don't know, no matter how I say this, it's gonna sound bad. I have so much extra meat that a waste of that, of that one piece of meat doesn't matter. Yeah, I not only do I sound conceited, but I sound like a, an, a, an 80s, um, bully or something <laughs> like I'm in an 80s freaking uh, flick or some crap like that all right we're gonna go check those two trees over there on the other side of my regular hunters because that's an area where I commonly see block crates as well I don't know if I'm gonna mess with any more cougars today I do need to build up a I mean just as I say that I think that's a level two cougar. 205 hit points, yeah. I'm not gonna do the running. Ah, I've got 31 sinew. I don't think I need to mess with this cougar right now. I can make 10 rope. I can make, you know, I've got enough sinew to make everything that I need for now. I think it'd be I think it'd be smarter and wiser this one time just to leave the kitty cat alone. Ah. But I am interested to see what the hunters are up to. Holy. Am I going to have dead hunters over here? Let's go find out. No, one of them's up for sure. Both of them are up. I almost ran up on them. Maybe it wasn't them fighting. Maybe it was rogue hunters? I'm confused. It sounded like it was coming from their base, but they don't seem like they were... like they were aggroed to anything. They look kind of calm and just walking around. Typically, after they get done with a fight, they go to a knee, they kind of look around. You know, it's kind of obvious that they were just in a fight and it didn't look like that. No lock boxes over there. What were you guys up to? What were you doing over here you're throwing hand grenades at? They weren't attacking this base, were they? I mean, I don't know. There's no reason to. It's I'm never over here, and there's no BCU in here. Will be a nice place to attack from, though. I'll have to build it up a little bit, but that'll be a nice forward uh, battle station.
Yeah. That's kind of odd. I can't tell what they were fighting, and they didn't look like they were aggroed on anything. Oh, damn, he's coming right, right up here, isn't he? I don't want to level you up. Stay down there. Jeez. He is really... Are you coming to attack? Oh, okay. Now, if he hadn't have stopped and ducked, he was actually... He would actually be coming to attack me, I'm pretty sure. I'm so tempted, but... Like I said, I don't want to level him up. I like the fact they don't have helmets. When they've got a full base and it's ready to be raided, it'll be a lot easier to kill if they don't have helmets the first time. Power 1000. Perfect. I mean, I probably messed up and wasted a little bit of that, but at least I have enough for what I want. Recycler, baby. Awesome. Now, now I'm starting to get uh, a foothold. I mean, I was doing good before. I'm, I'm not going to say I wasn't. But that's a major move in the right direction I just made. For now, until I've decided how I want to lay stuff out here, that's as good enough a, a place as any. Now I'm going to wait until I get back to 100 mass, and then we are going to have a workbench. 750 power, 120 mass. Perfect. So hopefully by next episode, we'll have a workbench. But for today, my time is up. I've been Critical. This has been Subsistence on my softcore playthrough. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.